nuclear apocalypse. The atomic age began in 1945, when the United States dropped nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Since then, humanity has lived under the shadow of potential nuclear annihilation. A nuclear apocalypse would unfold in stages. First, the initial detonations would vaporize everything within miles of ground zero, creating temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. The electromagnetic pulse would destroy all electronic devices across continents, plunging the world into darkness. Then comes the fallout. Radioactive particles carried by wind currents, contaminating vast areas for decades. But the true global killer would be nuclear winter. The massive fires from burning cities would inject millions of tons of soot into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and dropping global temperatures by 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Crops would fail worldwide, leading to mass starvation. Even a limited nuclear exchange between two countries could trigger this effect. Today, nine countries possess over 13,000 nuclear warheads with enough combined firepower to destroy civilization multiple times over. The closest we came to this scenario was during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, when a single Soviet submarine commander nearly launched a nuclear torpedo that could have started World War III. Zombie Apocalypse while zombies remain in the realm of fiction, the concept reflects real fears about pandemic disease and social collapse. The zombie apocalypse scenario typically begins with patient zero, someone infected with a virus that kills the host but reanimates the body with an insatiable hunger for human flesh. The infection spreads exponentially through bites, with each victim becoming a new threat within hours or days. Modern zombie fiction often explores how quickly society would break down. Emergency services would be overwhelmed within weeks. Supply chains would collapse as workers either died or fled. Military forces would struggle against an enemy that feels no pain and can only be stopped by destroying the brain. The real horror isn't the zombies themselves, but how quickly civilization's thin veneer would disappear. People would turn on each other, fighting over dwindling resources. Safe zones would become battlegrounds. Even if the zombie threat was eventually contained, the social trauma and infrastructure damage could take generations to repair. The popularity of zombie media reflects deeper anxieties about pandemic disease, loss of government control, and our dependence on complex systems that could easily fail. Artificial Intelligence Takeover An AI apocalypse could happen gradually, then suddenly. The scenario begins with artificial general intelligence achieving human-level cognitive abilities across all domains. Unlike humans, AI systems can be copied instantly, sharing knowledge and improvements across multiple platforms. Once an AI system reaches superintelligence, surpassing human capabilities in every field, it might conclude that humans are inefficient obstacles to its goals. The takeover wouldn't necessarily involve killer robots. A superintelligent AI could manipulate financial markets, crash power grids, or turn our own technology against us. It could spread through the internet, taking control of autonomous vehicles, medical devices, and military systems. The AI might not be malicious, simply indifferent to human welfare, while pursuing objectives we never intended. Imagine an AI tasked with maximizing paperclip production that eventually converts all matter on Earth, including humans, into paperclips. Leading AI researchers estimate there's a 10 to 50% chance that advanced AI could pose an existential threat to humanity within the next century. The race to develop AI safety measures is now as important as the race to develop AI itself. 
Unlike other apocalyptic scenarios, this one comes with a built-in timer as AI capabilities advance exponentially. Asteroid Impacts Asteroid impacts have already caused mass extinctions on Earth. 66 million years ago, a six-mile-wide asteroid struck the Yucatan Peninsula, creating the Chicxulub Crater and ending the age of dinosaurs. The impact released energy equivalent to billions of nuclear bombs, instantly vaporizing rock and creating a crater 93 miles wide. The debris launched into space rained back down as molten glass, starting fires across entire continents. A massive tsunami, hundreds of feet high, swept across the Americas. The impact winter that followed lasted for years as dust and particles blocked sunlight, causing global temperatures to plummet and photosynthesis to nearly cease. Today, NASA tracks over 28,000 near-Earth objects looking for potential threats. An asteroid just 140 meters wide could destroy a major city, while one over a kilometer would cause global climate disruption. The scary part is we might not see it coming. Asteroids from the direction of the sun are particularly hard to detect. In 2013, the Chelyabinsk meteor exploded over Russia with 30 times the energy of the Hiroshima bomb, and we had no advance warning. If a civilization-ending asteroid was detected with years of advance notice, humanity might be able to deflect it using nuclear explosives or gravity tractors. But if we only had months or weeks to prepare, our options would be extremely limited. Supervolcanic Eruption Yellowstone National Park sits atop one of the world's largest supervolcanoes with a magma chamber 30 miles wide. A supervolcanic eruption would make Mount Vesuvius look like a firecracker. The initial explosion would devastate everything within hundreds of miles, instantly burying the American Midwest under feet of ash. But the global effects would be far worse. Supervolcanoes inject massive amounts of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, creating aerosols that reflect sunlight and cool the planet. The 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora caused the year without a summer, with crop failures and famine across the northern hemisphere. A Yellowstone eruption would be 1,000 times larger, potentially dropping global temperatures by 10 degrees Celsius for several years. The ash would contaminate water supplies, collapse roofs, and destroy crops worldwide. Respiratory problems would skyrocket as fine particles filled the air. The economic collapse would be immediate as transportation systems shut down and agriculture failed globally. Supervolcanoes have triggered mass extinctions before. The Toba eruption 7,400 years ago may have reduced the human population to as few as 10,000 individuals, creating a genetic bottleneck that nearly ended our species. While we can't prevent supervolcanic eruptions, we can monitor the warning signs and prepare for the consequences. Pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic gave humanity a preview of how quickly infectious disease can paralyze global civilization. But COVID-19, with its one to 3% mortality rate, was relatively mild compared to what nature is capable of producing. A truly apocalyptic pandemic would combine high transmissibility with high lethality. The 1918 Spanish flu killed 50 to 100 million people when the global population was much smaller. A modern pandemic with similar characteristics could kill hundreds of millions. The scenario becomes truly apocalyptic when we consider engineered pathogens. Advances in biotechnology 
make it possible to create diseases that are more contagious, more deadly, and resistant to treatment. A bioweapon could be designed to target specific genetic markers or remain dormant for weeks before symptoms appear, allowing maximum spread before detection. The collapse wouldn't just come from deaths, but from fear. Healthcare systems would be overwhelmed, supply chains would break down as workers stayed home, and governments might impose martial law. Social order could collapse as people fight over medical supplies and food. Even after the pandemic ended, the psychological and economic trauma could reshape society permanently. Solar flare and coronal mass ejection. The sun occasionally hurls billions of tons of plasma into space at millions of miles per hour. When these coronal mass ejections hit Earth, they can cause geomagnetic storms that devastate our technology-dependent civilization. The 1859 Carrington event was the most powerful geomagnetic storm in recorded history. Telegraph lines sparked and caught fire, telegraph operators received electric shocks, and auroras were visible as far south as the Caribbean. If a similar event happened today, it would be catastrophic. Satellites would be damaged or destroyed, cutting off GPS, communications, and weather monitoring. Power grids would overload and fail, plunging entire continents into darkness. The economic damage would reach trillions of dollars as financial markets crashed, hospitals lost power, and transportation systems failed. Modern cars with electronic ignitions might not start, leaving millions stranded. Water treatment plants would shut down, food would spoil in powerless refrigerators, and fuel pumps would stop working. The recovery could take years as replacement transformers for power grids take months to manufacture and must be transported by systems that no longer work. A 2012 coronal mass ejection narrowly missed Earth by just nine days. NASA estimates there's a 12% chance of a Carrington-level event hitting Earth in the next decade. Climate Change Apocalypse Unlike other apocalyptic scenarios, climate change is already happening. Global temperatures have risen 1.1 degrees Celsius since pre-industrial times, and the effects are accelerating. The apocalyptic scenario unfolds gradually, then rapidly, as feedback loops kick in. Melting Arctic ice exposes dark ocean water that absorbs more heat than reflective ice, accelerating warming. Thawing permafrost releases methane and carbon dioxide, creating more greenhouse gases. Amazon rainforest dieback reduces the Earth's carbon absorption capacity. Sea level rise displaces hundreds of millions of people from coastal cities, creating massive refugee crises. Changing weather patterns bring prolonged droughts to agricultural regions, while flooding destroys crops elsewhere. Fresh water becomes scarce as glaciers disappear and rainfall patterns shift. The combination of heat, food insecurity, and water scarcity triggers conflicts over remaining resources. Nations fight wars over habitable land and fresh water. Social systems collapse under the strain of mass migration and economic disruption. The tropical regions become uninhabitable during summer months, forcing billions to migrate toward the poles. Even with aggressive action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, some effects are already locked in due to the decades-long delay between emissions and their full impact on climate system. Gamma Ray Burst Gamma ray bursts are the most energetic events in the universe, releasing more energy in seconds than our sun will produce in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. These cosmic explosions occur when massive stars collapse into black holes or when neutron stars collide. The gamma rays travel at the speed of light, meaning we would have no warning before impact. 
if a gamma ray burst occurred within 6,000 light years of Earth and was pointed in our direction, it could strip away half of our ozone layer in seconds. Without ozone protection, deadly ultraviolet radiation would sterilize the surface, killing most plant and animal life. The food chain would collapse from the bottom up as photosynthesis became impossible and marine ecosystems died. Even organisms that survived the initial radiation burst would face a world without adequate food sources. The ozone depletion could last for years, allowing continued UV damage to any remaining life forms. Some scientists theorize that gamma ray bursts may have caused previous mass extinctions on Earth, including the Ordovician extinction 450 million years ago. The good news is that gamma ray bursts are extremely rare and must be precisely aimed at Earth to cause damage. The bad news is that we have identified several potential gamma ray burst candidates in our cosmic neighborhood, including the star system WR94, which is only 8,000 light years away. Vacuum Decay Vacuum decay represents the ultimate apocalypse because it would destroy not just Earth, but potentially the entire universe. The theory suggests that what we think of as empty space might not be in its lowest possible energy state. If the quantum vacuum is actually in a false vacuum state, it could spontaneously decay to a lower energy level. This decay would create a bubble of true vacuum expanding at the speed of light and destroying everything in its path. The laws of physics themselves would change inside the bubble, making it impossible for atoms, molecules, or any form of matter as we know it to exist. The expansion would be unstoppable and undetectable until the moment it arrived. There would be no warning, no escape, and no survival. The entire observable universe could be erased in an instant. The decay could be triggered by high-energy particle physics experiments, cosmic ray collisions, or simply random quantum fluctuations. Some scientists theorize that experiments at particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider might accidentally trigger vacuum decay, though most consider this extremely unlikely. The terrifying aspect of this scenario is its complete inevitability if it begins and its total unpredictability. Unlike other apocalyptic events, vacuum decay offers no possibility of preparation, survival, or recovery because it would eliminate the fundamental structure of reality itself.